Hey, hey, my friends, it is Ben, the massage therapist here, and it is time for another episode of questions on social media that nobody asked me, but I'm going to answer them anyway. So what is this all about? Boy, I've been looking, I, I love to look at questions on social media because there are so many questions out there from uh, massage therapists who are maybe just getting into their career or are deep into their career and have issues and we all have issues and we we now have this way to reach out and and get advice from others and one of the things that i've learned is you ask 10 massage therapists the same question you're going to get 50 different answers so the advice is all over the place and there's not necessarily any wrong answers right well there probably are some bad answers but what is the right answer for you and so I like to look at these questions and think, how would, I, how would I coach or advise somebody to handle this situation? And it's kind of fun. So I thought I'd bring this to video, right? Um, so if you don't know me, my name is Ben. I'm a massage therapist. I have roughly about 18 years of massage experience under my belt, which really that means I don't know very much. But I'm trying, I'm learning, and I'm learning to make videos. What do you think of this new backdrop I've been playing with? Um, you know, it's just my office and I just threw up a light over here, light over here, yeah. So let's get into what is the question, the question on social media, let's get into it. All right, I love this question. It just, it makes me think, it, and it, it gets into gets into the, some things that I want to talk about and I'm so excited. Let's just, let's just get to the question. If a client keeps their boxer shorts on, do you stop at the point the boxers come down the leg or massage under the material or push them up if they're not skin tight? Oh man, this is like, do they teach you this type of thing in massage school? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't recall ever being informed on how to handle this in massage school. All right, before I give my take on this, we're going to go through a few comments that I picked out to read through. So let's get into the first comment. The first comment says, never move clothing. That is their boundary, whether they realize it or not. I have advised more novice clients that if they are wanting a full leg massage, the area covered by clothing cannot have skin to skin contact. Most will just pull it up without me directly asking after that. I work with trauma clients, sexual assault survivors, domestic abuse survivors, PTSD clients, and the trans community. A therapist touching their clothing could trigger anything from a panic attack to a negative emotional release to a full disassociative episode in these type of clients and you never know if your client has undisclosed trauma issues. Correct. That is one way to handle it. You just assume that their boundary is their boundary. I'm going to throw in something about communication. The most difficult part of communication is the assumption that it has taken place. But that's one way to handle it. I like it. You never know what kind of things are inside a client's head and body, what kind of trauma, whatnot is there. Let's move on to the next comment. It's a longer one. Let me read through this here. I had a client today who said she's had one massage her whole life several years ago. The reason she's not had massage after that until today was because the last time, the first time massage therapist asked if he could move her underwear. She agreed, but she said that she agreed that it was okay because she was not confident enough to say no or ask questions. She consented yes and then he pulled her underwear down below her buttocks. She was so completely stunned that she froze. There's that fight or flight right there. Fight, freeze, or run. 
Um, she said she thought she was going to pass out because she was so upset and found it difficult to breathe. Holy cow. Yes. I'm going to keep reading. So the reason why she was talking to me about this was because she was brave enough to ask me if I was going to move her underwear. If it was me, no matter how I try, I cannot seem to find it in me to say no or no, don't do that or I don't like this. This is why I never ask a client if I can do anything. I figure they might not be able to and say no. Wow. Okay, let's dive into this one. This person froze on the table because they didn't know what to do. There is definitely, I don't know if you've heard about this, but a power differential in being on a table and, and not having clothes on and having a stranger working on you and then a stranger asking if they can work on some private areas of, of your body, some areas that no one else, you know, we don't walk around with our underwear pulled halfway down. You know, this is uh, this is this goes back to the communication part. the The most difficult part of communication is the assumption that it's taken place. And even if it has, um, we need to throw in that education and information and invitation to do this type of thing. I, I just I love this question. It's great, um, and I love seeing how people would handle it themselves. So we're going to get into a couple of other comments here. Uh, these are more just kind of upfront. So this one says, I stop where clothing starts always. And the next one says, you stop at the limit of their clothes. You do not go under any piece of clothing. So that is how those people handle it. That's how they've been taught. That's how they work. All right, let's look at the next comment. I usually start my sessions by saying, undress to your comfort level. You may leave your underwear or take them off. If you do leave your underwear on, could you roll them up to the point of the glued heel cleft or butt cheek line so I can reach the attachment points on the leg without getting them greasy? That's a good one. Um, starting your sessions this way, to let them know the areas you will be working on and why you're working on them. I'm gonna be working on the attachment points of the hamstrings. So in order to get there, I need access. So that's gonna mean you helping me with access. It's a great, that's a great one. That's a great way to, um, to word it. But I would also remind them at the time of working, not just at the beginning of the session and assuming they're okay with it because they may change their mind. They may be like, oh, that's what that feels like. I'm not okay with that. Um, all right, let's look at the next comment. I was always taught that their clothing line was their boundary, but I always explain this before the treatment and ask if they want compressions over the area. Communication prior to treatment is super important. If you communicate with them and are still not clear, always ask before crossing any potential boundaries. Absolutely. So they, so they must be teaching some people in massage school that clothing are boundary lines, um, hard and fast. And so some people have this idea that they've been taught in massage school that you don't want to talk to your clients, right? We don't want to bother them. They're, they're busy relaxing. All right, so I'm gonna get into my take on, on this, and I've already talked to, to you a little bit about it, but it's about communication, information, um, education, invitation, all of those things. And that is not just a one-time thing at the beginning of the session. Um, we, it's, a, it's a person, it is a living, breathing person. We can talk to them and say, hey, that thing we talked about because through our intake, I recognize that we're gonna need to do some work on your hamstring attachments and on your glutes. And the best way to do that is with direct contact to the skin. And what that's gonna look like is you can either take your underwear off or you can leave them on, we can pull them down or we can work straight through them. Now I can ask you right now, do you know if you have a preference 
So you can inform them right away and get that consent going and get that communication going. And then we get them on the table and we can ask them again, hey, remember when we talked earlier about working on the hamstrings and the glutes? So let me ask you again, would you be comfortable if we were to do some work there? And tell me, of those three options that we talked about, where what would you feel most comfortable? Do we need to work through the sheets? Do you want to try working directly on the skin to see what that would look like? So education, information, communication, right? They're a person. Or we just say, hey, do you mind pulling your shorts up or your underwear up so that I can get to some of this stuff? And you know what? I've never had anybody say, no, I don't want to move or do something to make it easier for you to work on me. Now, I have had some people say, you know, I want to leave my shirt on or I want to leave... But if I ask them to pull the sleeve up, do you mind pulling your sleeve up? Or do you mind um, if we lower the straps of the bra so that we can get into something? It's very rarely that I have someone ever say, no, I don't want to do that. So we invite them to adjust things and to receive the treatment. And it's up to them. If they say no, hey, you know, we can still work on the area or we can, we can just move on um, and just invite them again next time, right? I've been working with people who are not comfortable taking off any clothing, which is fine. I invite them to every time I see them. I'm like, hey, remember we talked about getting into your traps? Um, you know, we could take your shirt off and we could work on the on the traps a little bit. You'll be completely covered under a sheet, so your modesty will not be exposed at all. Compromised. There will be no compromise of your modesty. No, I don't think I'm comfortable with that. Okay, no worries. We'll do the work life we've been doing it the past few times. So that's my big takeaway is educate. Why are we going to do this? Communicate. Tell them. Talk to them. Inform them. And then invite them. Invite them to receive the work that you do. All right, what do you think? How would you handle this situation? How would you handle someone who has, say, boxer shorts on? How would you handle it? What would you tell them? So, hey, if you like like the vibe I'm putting out, I invite you to join the tribe. Let me know down in the comments, um, you know, how you would handle this. Uh, Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. It lets me know that um, people are watching and that I'm not making videos for just one person. Hi, Mom. So hey, I gotta tell you, every time I get done with one of these videos, I always think, oh, I wanted to say this or I wanted to say that. Um, But I just wanted to thank you for watching and your comments and your likes and your subscriptions are truly motivating and it helps me to sit down in front of this camera and talk. So hey, once again, thank you and I hope to see you in the next video soon.